Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Bolt, owner of Wii Sports Trading Desk. In this episode, I'm going to take you through the Wave principles. Yes, I have been practicing the Wave principles for more than five years and it is giving me great, 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 very, very good results. You can check it out this at this place that is waste for trading decks in my group yes and for everyone who wants to also take your trading to the next level i recommend you to start learning earlier to be because it is very 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 good for predicting market movement yes now um <coughs> Um, for today, I'm going to take you through the basis of WIF principles. Yes, explain to you the rules that one need not to do without or you can't overlook when practicing the WIF principles. Now, the WIF principles is Mr. Raffness and Elliot's discovery. Yes, after studying the market for over 75 years, he noticed that social or crowd behavior trends and reverses in a recognizable pattern. Yes, and in the market, progresses ultimately take the form of five waves of a specified structure, of any specific structure, yes. And three of these waves, which are labeled one, three, and five, actually affect the directional movement. That means they go in the same direction. They are also separated by two counter trend interruptions, which are also labeled as two and four, even numbers. And these two and four are apparently necessary for the overall directional movement to occur. And so, what it means here is that you see, in times when you are doing or when you are trading in a normal traditional technical analysis, and price doesn't go or market doesn't move straight forward it goes up and comes down a little yes and so those movement which is against the main direction are sometimes we refer it to as a pullbacks or our retracement or our corrections yes and that is what the two and four is or the role of the two and four here but now before you will practice the real principles there are some rules that you can never overlook yes and the first rule is saying that with two of the five wave movement this wave two should not move beyond the start of wave one yes i'll give you a practical example or to do illustrate what it means and with three it's never the shortest that is among the five wave with three should always be the longest wave amounts the five wave movement with four never enter the price territory of wave one yes now this is a classical bull market a five wave movement and you can see the first wave is here with two three four and five now with one three and five a movement in the same direction yes so they define the primary or the major trend with two and four move against the primary trend so in this bull market two and four a movement or going down and it means it is going against the major uptrend and these two and four movement are also necessary for wave 3 and wave 5 to also take place yes and so it is very 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 key and very very necessary that we sit down and interpret how this wave 2 and 4 behave so that we can join the third wave and the fifth wave respectively now the whole market cycle in Elliott wave this a one market cycle and this part is normally referred to as the arsenary phase or the numbered phase yes the first five movement whether it is downtrend or uptrend it is called the arsenary phase or the numbered phase we have with one two three four and five as illustrated above over there and you can see clearly that with one three and five are movement in the same directions with two doesn't go 
past the starting point of wave one v4 over here or the bottom of v4 over here is not also surpassing the peak of wave one and wave three is also the longest amount and it means we satisfy the whole rules and we can straight away be confident in our analysis when we see that all these rules are in place when you look at this size after the five wave movement market correct itself and the correction is the reactionary phase so this abc structure is correcting the whole move over here and you go into details market cycle so you can see i labeled here as wave one that is after the five wave move and this three wave move down as wave two today we are just focusing on the arsenary phase so let's get to chat and see more example okay so now um this is the whole five wave move also drawn over here nicely and before you start your leveling you define the bottom so this is the bottom and this is the peak yes so this is the bottom and this is the peak now <coughs> you can see wave one is here two three four and five but what we need to do is to make sure that the three major rule are in play first of all if two doesn't go past the starting point of wave one so let's check it out you can see wave two is ending here it is not like this when you do like this it is wrong yes it will render it invalid we can consider it as an impulse movement now this wave three is also the longest among the three so that one to also satisfy and we can see wave four does not also come past the starting point or the peak of wave one yes so that one too is not like this yes so if it does this it is wrong so it's supposed to end within anywhere um this whole area that is how or where it has to play so once all these are in play then we can be confident in whatever analysis that we are doing now um when you look at this space over here on um i think uh, 25th june yes that was when i spotted this short analysis yes in fact it was on the four hour chart um usd swiss france and you can see they define the bottom and because the upper point we don't know it yet i didn't define where it is but this is my starting point you can see the red lines here and this is my wave one my wave two and you know the wave two didn't go past wave one so i was okay with that if three was the longest so i was also okay with that you can see wave four was developing gradually and so i made a projection to expect the fifth wave up here yes and um the next day see the correction normally with four it takes time to correct and so i had to wait patiently for we four to give the whole structure it gave me a wsy structure still with four but i was still okay with it because it has not come anywhere near where wave one is now on the next day you see the movement actually began it gave us a nice pin bar here and the upwards movement begin and in the next trading day you see it was developing gradually to the upside yes and this is how i follow market one by one you can see it has moved to complete the wave five as projected now you can see this wave five is very short it's truncated and i'll explain truncation as we move ahead i don't want to confuse you guys right now just note that we one two three and five and how to inculcate these rules in your analysis i label the part here with one three and five and normally when there is extension in the third wave we get equality and you can see wave one and wave five are equal in terms of price length now another example is also here no let's get to chat i think there's one more here good this is a classical chef gpy chart um four hour yes 240 four hour chart and like i told you 
before you begin any analysis i actually have an analysis here which projected that move but for the purpose of this or for today we are just looking at this one alone so what we are going to do is first of all you define your bottom and the top this one is already there so you can see i've identified my bottom and top i pick my two here and i'll start so this is my with one with two with three with four and with five will be here yes that is where my with five will end now make sure you check the rules first now you see with two the retracement of which two was around 38 fibonacci level it has not come near the starting point so looks fine looks great with three is very long yes it also looks very very fine yes so it give you confidence in what you are doing you can see and with four is also contained in this um channel here you can see this with four yes and the only rule that you need to check out on with four is that it shouldn't also come closer to or to the peak of with one and you see where it is it hasn't come closer to it so you are still okay with that and you can see with five also ended that way and that is how you add this to your trading yes so now you have one two three four five boom and once that ends the corrective phase begin and the corrective phase will take time to also look at the correction aspect and how one can also apply it in your trading there's a lot more to this but as a beginner knowing this is enough now let me show you some chart example from the group yes this is a classical work that i did some time ago you can see the first wave with one here is having another sub wave that is one two three four five yes and this one is an extension in the first wave yes the structure of the market is like an onion yes and this <coughs> extension only happens in the three with that move in the same direction that is the with one three and five yes so you could see that with three two was also extended yeah normally we expect extension in with three the most and not always the case in with one and with five yes but you can see this is um this one you gave us a nice extension and we are expecting with five here and when you move here uh let me see which one is yes this one to i think the bottom side is hiding so you can see but you can see there's an extension here yes and this ends the wave three before it's here and we are projecting for the fifth wave um yes there is also another one one two three four five yes and yes there's one more here you can see one two three four five yes one two three four five yes you can check my channel we sport trade index on telegram then you find my contact there <coughs> You can chat me if you want to any clarification on this so you have any question that i have to help you out um let me see yes i think there's one more here. yes you can see this one two one two three four five yes as soon as the rules are okay forget about it this is btc some time ago and you all know now the prices of um, btc i did this quite a long time ago yes so I'm expecting with two to be within the zone then we buy from here and it took us to that level um yeah this u.s oil the impulse is at the side yeah you cannot come you can see yes there's a one more euro usd yes i think this trade gave us about thousand pips yes so you see one two three four five one two three four five the extension yes you can check this analysis in my telegram page it is there waste for trading this i have changed the name of the academy to waste for trading this so you can when you go is the same thing just locate resource trading this and you can see 
all these analysis that I'm talking about over there before and after analysis yes sometimes this the most important thing about this type of analysis that I want you to learn is that it works in almost all the markets yes so you can see even on 15 minutes time frame it is still giving us results yes there was time that I tried it out so you can see one two three four five Maybe four was an ABC structure. You can see this line here is an indication that the fourth wave has not surpassed the peak of wave one. So with um, five was being expected, and that one too it played out very nicely over here on a 15 minutes time frame. And that is how accurate um, this Elliott waves works. Yes, there is more to it, but just follow this channel and subscribe for more. Um, I'll be helping you out with great example and great insight on how to conduct analysis using the wave principle and you also um, yes you can see there is the euro USD the movement begins exactly where I place the buy yes very 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 interesting yes so yes I don't want to take much of your time let me end here if you have any question I'll leave my contact and my detail in the description and so you can check me out or contact me or mail me if you want any clarification on the wave principle but don't forget that the main three <coughs> rules that you should not forget when practicing the wave principle is that first one with two never move beyond the start of wave one with three is not the shortest wave and with four is also never enter the price territory of wave one when you visit my channel you can screw up you can see more examples yes both impulse and corrective structures example before and after analysis a lot of them yes you can check it out. that is what i practice and i'm recommending to you to also practice it yes because it's going to actually help you thank you for your time bye